Today, I want to share with you a really cool way I found that you can tile elements inside Resolume and turn this element into a tiled background, a seamless one that you can move right and left, up and down, and also how to run cool patterns on it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's start. I'm taking this clip and duplicating it. And you can, by the way, download this and also the project file and try it on your machine. The way I started is uh, I thought I need to, I want to make a tile. So I used the tile effect from uh, built in in Resolume, but this one is tiling it in a row on rows. And I wanted to tile it diagonally. So, you know, it will be more interesting. What I did is I took a linear cloner. Let's get it and then let's uh, get the center here and get this one to 0.5. Let's add another trail and scale them down so they will fit uh, better. And then let's use the distortion. You see what the distortion does? So minus 50 will get us kind of a wave pattern here. And this is a kind of a, the trick. So once we have this, let's add another linear cloner. And this linear cloner will need to rotate it to the side, minus 90, and then scale it down, scale, start scale, scale it down. And the way to know exactly the way it will fit here is to get it a 9 by 16. So I'm going to go 900 divided by 16. And this is 56.25. This is the exactly the size it needs to be. So next, let's say compensate. You see that they are facing left now. Let's go to the first linear cloner and then instead of zero we get to 90. Now we got them again horizontally and now we are going to get the second linear cloner, pull it all the way left, pull this one all the way right and add some clones. And here we are. We've got this uh, background, it's styled. We can even add a slide to it. The seam will not be Visible meaning it's seamless. You can also tile it, uh, sorry, slide it to the left. Same, you can see the seam because everything is mathematically right. So this is uh, the first thing we did. And let's uh, get this clip here and duplicate it. Let's first update these so we know who's who's and what's what's. All right, so we got this clip here and now we would like to add some uh, delay, some bouncy to it. So first let's, uh, so we can see it better. Let's close this for a minute. This uh, clip has a beginning, it starts four seconds. It just opens and then we can uh, loop it like this. It from four to 12, it has this uh, panning and we can loop this as well bounce it and the, when it closes it closes a little bit differently we can uh, uh, loop this as well so let's for the sake of this tutorial for now let's go to four and uh, bounce it and then what we have here is a clip that is closing up and opening so we can see better this um, delay effect so let's open again these effects and what we have now is um, all of them are closing and opening at the same time. We're going to use a nice option in the linear cloner. It's called delay. Let's open this and straight. You see that uh, now this line is moving differently from the other lines. Each line has its own paste and we can add another delay on the second. And now we have this kind of a, more of a wavy pattern. 
let's see it in full screen one caveat that, that uh, this delay effect has is that in the in the second that you will trigger it it pauses the the delays so we got uh, this clip made and let's um, duplicate it and now i'd like to check what will happen if we'll get slide sliding up let's put it in the end here and it still looks really nice and that's a really nice uh, background that we can have let's add a ladder layer of a um, of something that happens here let's uh, close these for now and let's add another transform before and this transform we can play with the scaling a little bit just a little bit and then the scaling will repeat in a delay in our tiling so let's create a bpm sync here let's um, get it all the way to 110 and the minimum will be 80 and then we can add an envelope and give it a simple bounce for now and let's see what have we created that's nice let's slow it down just a tad great so now if we'll open the um, cloners and it's a little bit more interesting than what we had before adds more to the waviness of things great now the nice thing is uh, that once we have all of these um, made we can drop them on any other um, element so let's try and do this with this one let's copy it and let's uh, check this element here just uh, another one of the art deco pack and let's uh, paste the effects on it and we get this uh, nice wavy motion let's see a full screen of it and uh, it's another nice background let's try to duplicate this one another element and let's copy this one on it copy and drop the effects on it adjust the size a little bit the start scale so it will fill the screen and that's another background that we just created what about uh, this guy how can we get to this and it's uh, quite uh, simple we'll just have to take this clip add another linear cloner in between so let's turn this one off for now let's add another linear linear cloner here and this linear cloner will go all the way left and this uh, tail length will go all the way right and on the start scale will go and magic 50 percent so we added another um, radar clone a linear cloner now if we'll open this up and then add these clones to it and i suspect i might know what uh, kind of uh, an effect stack you are going to apply to the logo of the event next time the promoter comes to you and says hey i want to see my logo on the screens right another thing is to add a quad mirror to this one maybe get it uh, faster and check this out shiny 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 stuff all right if you like this uh, vj tutorial you will probably like the other tutorials i made i made a playlist for you here click it and we'll see you on the next one